Henry, how nice to see you. How are you doing? Well, you know what? I'm wearing my very first tie since March 19th. Wow. Because I know you dress up. You've done this for me. You've got dressed this for up you. for me. It's either you or the dogs. Well, I'll take it because that is... That's something I will treasure for a long, long time. Uh, it's so good to see you, Henry. Uh, you. It, it's obviously a, a fraught time. We're all feeling very strange. Um, how, was, how was your election day? How are you doing today? OK, so today I'm doing a lot better than I was yesterday. Yes. Uh, yesterday night, uh, we were sitting watching uh, and uh, went to bed after uh, President Trump spoke. Uh, so co coherently to the to the country. Yep. Uh, and uh, woke up this morning, and and felt a little bit better. And now, we're feeling a lot better. Okay, I ca I cannot stress this enough. <laughs> Calm down, everyone. <laughs> Calm down. It ain't over till it's over. Okay. It just isn't. We're all a bit. Oh, I thought they were. They were applauding me. I'm sorry. They were. <laughs> they, there's a. You know. No. Oh. <laughs> They're all wrapped with this optimism. But that was. This is. I will say the same optimism everybody left with on Monday night. Like it's going to be a blue wave. It's going to be a landslide. So let's just all. I'm just saying. I'm with you. Pump the brakes now. <laughs> Anyway, I want to ask you about this. A couple of weeks ago, you were part of, a, of the Happy Days reunion to raise money for Wisconsin State Democrat for the Democratic Party yeah. in Wisconsin State. Um, I'm interested to know how did it feel to slip back into the Fonz's leather jacket? Can I just say it was amazing? Uh, you know, Ron uh, called me and uh, asked, and we, I said yes. Uh, and then uh, Don and Anson, Marion said yes. We had a rehearsal. Marion uh, doesn't drink enough water. She got dehydrated. She had to watch. All of a sudden, uh, a, uh, Darcy Carden uh, from uh, The Good Place came yeah. in and Barry. And then, uh, you know, uh, Yara um, uh, from uh, uh, Blackish, uh, Red Joni, uh, and um, it was, and then uh, my goddaughter, uh, Paige, Ron's daughter, read everybody else. It was amazing. But did you feel, did it feel like it just all came back, the whole thing? Eh? Like that. Really? Uh, unbelievable. We all of a sudden it was like we were doing it like uh, 40 years ago. <laughs> there he is. I mean, because it was it was a, a, a it was a while ago now. Because I can't quite believe this, and I was shocked when I read it. You you turned 75 on Friday. 75. Is that true? And, yes, and you look so incredible for it. Congratulations. How did you celebrate your 75th birthday? Okay. Uh, well, first of all, let me just say 74 was so easy. Right. It was breezy, yeah. you know? Mm. I could say 74 at the drop of a hat. Yeah. Saying 74 <laughs> is really... <laughs> you know? But we, we had a uh, 13 Winklers and, and Rhinuses uh, and Weitzmans. Uh, we were, the whole family was uh, on separate blankets, had some pasta, a little steak. Uh, the sun went down, they went home. I was happy. Oh, that sounds so wonderful. And really, I mean... You, 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 I know this, that the, you absolutely love working. You love acting, you love the writing that you do, and obviously we're all huge fans of Barry here in the studio, and you were supposed to start the new season in March. In March. And your performance in the show is so great. Do you know when you'll be back? Do you know when you'll be back shooting Barry, and what have you done with this downtime? All right, I, I heard that it's very possible we're not going to shoot until next October. Wow. And it is, um, but, you know, they're being very safe and, and waiting for a vaccine that works, you know. Um, but that might be true, and it is so long away. Yeah. What have I been doing? Uh, I, I play with my dogs. I do some animation. I did a movie for a I young lady this. called... Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, um, uh, Stephanie Lang. I got three cell phones... A man for an hour uh, had me put wires into so many slots I couldn't believe it, and I literally did scenes with an amazing cast. 
uh, uh, Judy Greer and uh, um, uh, and Dowd. Wow. You know, it, it was amazing. Never saw the people. Wow. I see. I can I can understand why you do something like that. You you thrive on on being busy and and, and working. And I saw a tweet uh, just this week where you you mentioned uh, um, after his sad passing that the, the legendary Sir Sean Connery was one of your acting heroes. Did you yes, ever? Really true. Did your paths ever cross? Yes. Before I left New York, I saw him do a PBS special called The Species of Man. Uh, and he played three different men, three different personalities. I was enchanted. And that was way before in the 70s, before I left uh, New York to come here to Hollywood. Then I got a, I got myself on the, the set of Meteor, not a great movie, but I got to shake hands with Sean Connery. And then I was directing Alan King, the late Alan King and Billy Crystal in a script that Billy Crystal wrote. Uh, and he was walking by and uh, Alan King was the, the king of extras who knew all the stars. And I said, Mr. Connery, would you just say hello to Alan on film for me? He said, oh, well, and he did. Wow, how terrific. Yeah. Now let's talk about your brilliant new book, Alien Superstar, Lights, Camera, Danger. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, tell us what the, what the book is about. Okay, so um, uh, this is uh, my writing partner, Lynn, and I, Lynn Oliver. Yeah. We have, this is our 35th novel. It is the second of Alien Superstar. And it is an alien... Uh, a, a stranger in a strange land. He lands on the only address he knows in America, which is Universal Studios. Uh, he lands on the back lot. Who's going to question a rocket ship? And he gets a job, who knew, on a sitcom <laughs> as an alien. He's already got the costume. And you know what it is? It is uh, being an outsider. I've always felt like an outsider. And all of our characters are like, kids on the outside looking in, wanting to be on the inside. I mean, did you ever dream that one day you would be a, a New York Times best-selling author of not one, but 35 books? It's a tremendous achievement. I never did. Uh, but I'll tell you that this is a lesson that I learned in my life, which is you don't know what you can accomplish unless you just try, unless you put one foot in front of the other. You know, um, a man named Alan Berger said to me, why don't you write books about your, uh, your dyslexia? And I said, because I'm dyslexic. I think I'm stupid. I can't. And bingo, here we are with Alien Superstar. Well, the book is brilliantly funny. I think it will make the perfect gift for the holiday season. Alien Superstar Lights, Camera, Danger is available right now. Stick